Lowest Off Dance Map was born out of the Great Places scheme, which is by making waves together in collaboration with Dance East to bring communities together through arts activities to celebrate the town that they live in and the local heritage. The last three years are really the first time we've worked uh, intensively in Lowestoft for quite a long time. Um, so working in the Making Waves Together projects has allowed us to get to know a lot of new communities. And I think a lot of us are guilty of living in places and not really thinking about what it is to live in that place, what's been in that place before them um, and what their family might have experienced in that place. There's a lot of those conversations that we just don't have. So having the opportunity to work with a museum and to look at collections inside has given them the chance to just uh, reconnect themselves. Sharing stories was such an important part of year one that we could bring into year two knowing that that's an important element. That opportunity to socialise, to talk and to connect um, through this dance performance has just been wonderful. So you can get a great joy out of performing just by participating. For children particularly it's around confidence, building connections with their peers and it's the heritage angle as well which is really important in these two projects. Last year it was a completely different theme, so that was all to do with the Fisher Girls and the herring industry that we had in Lowestoft. That one for me also had a personal sentiment because my family have a fishing um, background in the local industry, so again it was lovely for me to have that involvement and feel like I was part of history and bringing it back to life. The Fisher Girls was a really special project because we saw right in front of our eyes conversations happening between family members about their own experiences of working with the herring fishing industry in Lowestoft. Some of those stories we knew beforehand and some of them just came about on the day. So as well as all the benefits of performing and of watching people perform, um, it really brought to the forefront those conversations between families. It's one of the most lovely things, particularly when you see family members congratulate their children or their, their loved ones um, for their achievements, because I think we take for granted that these things are possible a lot of the time, but when you see other people getting joy out of them, um, it's just brilliant. It's, it's always difficult getting people to buy into the idea of, of dancing, particularly if they haven't done any dancing before, and lots of people's perceptions of what dance is is kind of led by what they see on TV. So sometimes there's a bit of groundwork to do there to kind of go, actually, it can be, it can be much more than that. But I guess days like today are, are the kind of icing on the cake and you kind of see how people then go, oh yes, I understand that dance can be all these other things as well. So, so yeah, it's, a, it's an enjoyable journey to go on working on site as part of promenade performances has been a completely new challenge and opportunity so for that I'm really grateful and thankful it's been absolutely lovely to dance in Nicholas Everett Park out in nature and beautiful weather today so that's been lovely too to work with Glasshouse Dance and Dance East has been a complete joy and a privilege and I'm so thankful for the opportunity anything which brings disparate groups or different groups from, a, from a, a town or a community together to celebrate what's common has got to be a good thing. Something which is physically active, which is creative, artistic, um, but also bringing together heritage and a sense of community has got to be worth investing in. We'd like to see more people out and about in Lowestoft connecting with dance, connecting with great art and if we can do that through heritage and make it relevant to them then that's really going to work for us as we've seen over the last two years. We don't all learn by just looking at something, we need to, some of us need to engage with it on a different level and dance is a brilliant way of doing that through looking, through moving, through social interaction and research together to create a much more experiential um, performance from what we're seeing. It unites people together, it's such a social activity and bringing people who didn't know each other before in together through dance you build very intimate connections with people very very quickly I think that's a huge benefit of dancing so you have that social emotional mental and physical well-being I think it's a lovely way of different companies and groups of people coming together to make sometimes one-off really unique really special performances that are for the community 
so it's accessible for everybody, um, it's for the community and it involves them so for that reason it's a really important thing to continue and maintain. Coming out and doing projects in places where people don't have access to arts and culture is hugely important. We need to take art to the people um, and allow people to experience it, for many of them for the first time. And I think just test the water and find out where there's potential for future work. So this is not the end certainly, but this feels like a beginning. And from there we can start to build a culture of participation and a culture of going to see brilliant pieces of art and culture.